Thanks, Neil. Uh, we're really grateful to get a win against a, um, a tough uh, outfit in uh, Oak Glory, D.C. They're always very physical and uh, really show up well in the second half. So we're, we're happy to, to get their win. We're also, our thoughts and prayers are with one of their players, uh, Josh Brown, who had to uh, pull out uh, pregame uh, with him and his family. And uh, we hope everything works out there uh, for him. Um, as for us, we're on to the bye week now, and we're going to take some time to uh, spend some time with family. Uh, this has been a, it's been a long eight game run, and we'll spend some time kind of recharging the batteries and uh, get back to it. Um, we're lucky in that uh, we're going to play Utah uh, in our first game back, which is another team that's in the playoff hunt and I think is going to be a, a fierce competitor out there in Salt Lake. So we're really looking forward to it, and uh, we'll, we'll look forward to the rest tonight. Hey, Coach uh, Connor. Uh, listen, uh, I got to say that uh, you always uh, are after the press conference. Our coach saying, "Well, we we got some lessons from this. We learned a lot out there tonight." And I suspect maybe you'll say the same thing tonight. But you got to be pretty pleased. Uh, your team picked up a try when you were down, shorthanded. You picked up a try when they were when they were shorthanded. So you all over some very very artistic. Uh, uh, tries being scored there in the first half quite interesting a game from that perspective are you happy overall with the performance and and is this one of these games where uh, since you got a buy cam up maybe just happy with the performance and maybe not as many lessons learned as you normally get or is it is it just the same old coach lawrence lessons learned we're going to take the lessons from this and then for connor you guys seem to have your way in there man it was uh you and jason and uh and momson just seem to be having control of the game in there did it, did, was it really that way on the pitch or it just looked that way watching the game? Uh, yeah, we uh, knew we had to match them uh, up front physically with the forwards. Um, and I think we did, did a good job there. <clears throat> um, and then we, you know, we stuck to the territory game um, that we had decided before uh, we wanted to play in their half. And I think we did a decent job about that as well. Yeah, there are some lessons learned, particularly in that last five minutes of the game. Uh, we need to be smarter about how we defend uh, in that part of the game and how we manage the penalty count. Uh, I think that last uh, try was one we'd uh, we'd like to have back uh, as a team. But uh, so the the blessing is there is that there is a lesson out of it. Uh, it would be easy to walk away from it, but uh, sometimes you need those things. And there's some players that have, have come off the bench and have gained some experience and. You know, maybe their decisions were probably, you know, kind of led to that uh, along with a number of other things, but they're going to learn those lessons and we're going to be better and we're going to be deeper for that in the playoffs. So we're not going to let those get get past us just because we got a win and a buy. We're going to we're going to take them and use them. We got to see someone tonight that uh, a lot of people who, well, maybe not in the Atlanta area might not know him so well, but certainly Western Province fans uh, like myself have known Kurt Coleman for a long time. He's been out all season with an injury. He looked pretty good out there tonight. Uh, pretty happy with his performance. He did get that nice uh, penalty conversion as well. He uh, took a big hit, but bounced right up. Are you happy with uh, how he's doing? And then for Connor, uh, it hardly seems fair. Robertson's about one third your size. Boy, that was a heck of a hit you laid on him there. <laughs> you laid him out there. It was a clean hit, but uh, right behind you, though, we saw a yellow card come up, a little fight behind that. But uh, you got a good, good rap on Robertson there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just saw an opportunity. I already had the line speed coming up. He kind of bobbled the ball, and I mean, it's kind of nature of the game. I had to keep playing, so laid a little hit on him, and he kind of got me back in a ruck later. It's a little sneaky cheek. Cheeky one. It's all right. Yeah, it was great to see Casey uh, come back. He's been such a big part of our environment, and and uh, you know, there wasn't a lot. There was some rust there, but uh, it, it shook off pretty quick. So. He was accurate in his kicking game. He was great in his control. You could hear his communication. So that's the difference. He's the he's that field general that uh, I think we really need, and we're looking forward to having him back in the lineup each week. Well, it was a long wait to, to get to this stage, but you've got two games left, as you said, uh, and, and not necessarily easy games, but you get a little bit of break here. Comes perhaps at a good time as you lose Eagles heading off to London and to Dublin, so they're going to be gone for a little bit, so maybe the break would be a chance to refresh, but I noticed tonight that, Coach, uh, with, the, with the score up there a bit, you're able to rotate a lot of your players through and get them out on the pitch. I saw Keith come out about 67 minutes. Was that helpful to get some of your guys who start uh, a little more rest uh, ahead of the, of the bye? I think it's uh, the rest is nice. The experience for the guys coming off the bench is is the real, you know, that's the real benefit there. And 
give them an opportunity to play in this environment. It's pretty, <clears throat> it's actually pretty special for them because of Old Glory's energy and the way they play on the front foot in the last 20 minutes, it's a high pressure environment. So to be able to, to put a, a, a few players into that environment and have them perform and, and play against that, I think it's, you know, hopefully that comes back to help us a little bit later on. Well, thanks a lot, gentlemen. Uh, best of luck. We'll see you come back in a pitch in a couple of weeks and uh, finish out the season hopefully strong. Rugby United New York is not giving you a chance to catch any breath, nor is NOLA. NOLA's still mathematically in it. Rugby's right on your Rugby United New York's right on your heels. So we'll see how it goes. Congratulations on a, on a well played game tonight and the final couple of games. Both teams, and uh, we'd be uh, we'd be honored to play either of them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah.